Instead of getting help, he got three bullets. Pain and anger today in Repentigny near Montreal. A mother in mourning after police shot and killed her son, Jean-René Junior Olivier. C'est moi qui ai appelé la police. I'm the one who called police, says Marie Mireille Benz. I was worried when he grabbed a steak knife and said he was seeing people who wanted to hurt him. She says when police arrived, she was told to go inside and lock the door. That's when she heard the gunshots. Police say the 37-year-old was threatening officers with the knife in his hand and that they tried using pepper spray before opening fire. Olivier's family, though, says witnesses told them he dropped the knife before he was shot. These cops are supposed to, to protect us. They didn't do that. They did not do that. They killed them. And now we have to bury a, a mother's son. This comes after years of racial profiling complaints against Repentigny police. Complaints confirmed by Quebec's Human Rights Commission, which has ruled against the department four times in two years. Last year, Repentigny police hired a consulting firm to help address issues of inclusivity and racial profiling all while denying there was a systemic problem. Sachez que nous l'avons entendu. The police chief says they hear Olivier's family and offer their sympathy, and they're working to rebuild bridges with the black community. This death raises questions about how officers intervene when someone is in crisis. A mental health crisis is often a really sensitive and potential and highly stigmatized situation. It's really just about making sure that the right person is res with the right tools is responding to the right situation. J'attends la justice pour mon fils. Ben says it's too late for her son. Now she wants justice for his death. Sarah Levitt, CBC News, Montreal.